1. If a fuse blows again after it has been replaced, what is the most likely cause? A. Current or amps through circuit too high. B. Resistance in the circuit is too high. C. The ground point has become disconnected. D. Open circuit in component. Correct. A. 2. A sport utility vehicle has high steering effort. Technician A says this could be caused by a sheared shift tube. Technician B says the steering column assembly is misaligned. Who is right? A. A. Only B. B. Only C. Neither A nor B. D. Both A and B correct. D. 3. If a vehicle tends to have excessive bounce when dips are encountered on a road, then the most likely problem is A. The tires are badly worn. B. Excessive positive caster. C. Worn or weak shock absorbers. D. The stabilizer bar needs to be replaced. Correct. C. 4. When removing an engine from a vehicle equipped with an automatic transmission, the torque converter does which of the following? A. Must be flushed. B. Must be drained. C. Stays with transmission. D. Stays with transmission. Correct. C. 5. Technician A says whenever working on the steering column, consult the online service information for the recommended airbag disabling procedure. Technician B says the U-joint or flexible coupling must be removed before the steering wheel can be removed. Who is right? A. Neither A nor B B. B only C. A only D. Both A and B correct. C. C 6. Which of the following does not produce a digital signal? A. Optical sensors. B. AC generators. C. Hall effect switches. D. Micro switches. Correct. B. 7. An engine detonation. Knock sensor uses A. A. Voltage divider pickup. B. Potentiometer. C. Piezoresistive crystal. D. Thermistor. Correct. C. 8. The head of a valve in an engine is the part that a. Seals against the valve seat. B. Makes contact with the valve opening mechanism. C. Transitions from the stem to the head. D. Is exposed to the combustion chamber. Correct. A. 9. Fuel lines connected to the tank of a vehicle are made of A. Steel. B. Flexible synthetic rubber. C. Aluminum. D. Vacuum hose. Correct. A. 10. The TPS. Throttle position sensor. Input is used to do all of the following, except A. Indicate the rate of acceleration. B. Alter the spark advance curve. C. Determine idle speed. RPM D. Indicate the rate of acceleration. Correct. D. 11. If a tapered boss is used to fasten a wheel, it must be installed with the taper. A. Towards the wheel. B, none of these C, away from the wheel. Correct, A. 13, as soon as the master cylinder primary cups move past their respective vent ports in each half of the master cylinder, the pressure in both halves of the hydraulic system begins to A, stabilize, B, rise, C, fall, D, equalize. Correct, B. 14. To widen a 45-degree valve seat without lowering or raising its position, the technician should use a harsh core stone. A. 90 degrees. B. 60 degrees. C. 75 degrees. D. 45 degrees. Correct. B. 15. The maximum service test for EVAP systems is pra P to A. 6.5. B. 1C. 4D. Correct. B. 16. The most commonly used solder for soldering a component or leads is A. 5050 acid core wire solder, B. 6040 resin core wire solder, C. 2080 bar solder, D. 4040 solid wire solder. Correct. B. 17. You are replacing a fuel tank. You've drained and stored all the gas in the vehicle. What is the next step? A. None of the above. B. Drop the rear suspension. C. Take the straps off the tank and drop it. D. 
Disconnect the fuel lines. Correct D. 18. The open circuit voltage OCV test on a fully charged battery should show which voltage? A. 12.6 volts. B. 4 volts per cell. C. 9.6 volts. D. 1 volt per cell. Correct? A. 19. Outside heated side mirrors of a vehicle are normally activated with a rear window defogger system. A. False. B. True. Correct. B. 20. The hand-operated service valve, stem type, on an air conditioner system must be turned retrush to open for AC system operation. A. Clockwise. B. Counterclockwise. Correct. B. 21. What type of fuse is a car made before 1980 likely to have? A glass tube. B. Ceramic. C. Any of these. D. Blade. Correct. A. 22. Technician A says the rear camera determines the thrust angle. Technician B says the rear toe angle determines the thrust angle. Who is right? A B only. B. Neither A nor B. C. Both A and B. D. A only. Correct. A. 23. Technician A says a specific gravity of 1.225 at 80 degrees Fahrenheit indicates that a battery state of charge is approximately 75%. Technician B says you can use a hydrometer to check battery state of charge on a maintenance-free battery. Who is right? A, both A and B. B, B only. C, neither A nor B. D, A only. Correct. D. 24. What is one of the most undesirable and poisonous exhaust emissions produced? A. Carbon monoxide. B. Hydrocarbon. C. Carbon dioxide. D. Nitrogen. Correct. A. 25. In relation to a transmission, which of the following describes throttle valve pressure? A. Prevents what is known as hunting condition. B. Directly proportional to vehicle speed. C. Called kick down or force downshift. D. Directly proportional to engine load. Correct. D. 26. The vehicle component, Eschen, that is considered to be sprung weight is the A. Engine. B. Body. C. All of these. D. Transaxle. Correct. C. 27. What component does the PCM or ECM monitor to determine the condition of the catalytic converter and will set a DTC if it fails? A. Throttle position sensor. B. Front and rear catalyst temperature sensors. C. Engine coolant temperature sensor. D. Front and rear. O2. Oxygen sensors. Correct. D. 28. Burning fuel produces water at the rate of approximately dash unarnis liter of water for every liter of gasoline burn. A. 1.0. B. 0 0.50. C. 0 0.25. D. 0 0.75. Correct. A. 29. What is the burst pressure for air conditioner hoses in PSI? A, 500, B, 2,000, C, 3,000, D, 1,200. Correct, C. 30. The stroke of the engine is determined by the A, connecting rod length, B, piston pin location in the piston, C, crankshaft, D, height of the piston head. Correct, C. 32nd, 
A bipolar transistor circuit is operated so that a. A small change in collector current controls a large change in emitter current. b. A small change in collector current controls a large change in base current. c. A small change in base current controls a large change in collector current. d. A small change in emitter current controls a large change in collector current. Correct. c. A small change in base current controls a large change in collector current.